So here in Final Cut Pro, we're gonna have a quick run through how we set up a library and then import footage into it. And then we'll do a little bit of organization with that as well. So the first thing we'll do is come up to file and new and library. And essentially a library is your Final Cut Pro project where you can store all your media, where you store your edits. It's kind of a container for all those different elements. So we'll call this importing media demo and we'll hit save. So once we create that, we'll get a couple of things. We'll get our library folder that we'll see at the top here. We can open more than one library at the same time. We'll get our smart collections, and then we'll also get an event here, which is today's date. So that's gonna be the first place that we would be importing media into. And we can rename these. We can create different events for, for different things. So once we've created our library, there's two main ways in which we can import things. One is to go to file and import and we can go to the media option here. And this is where we can see any media that we have on our computer, on recently accessed folders, and also on different devices that we might have plugged in. So you can see here, for instance, I can select the FaceTime HD camera, and then I can also select different devices that I've got. So I'm gonna select La Lancha here, which is where I have my media stored. We're gonna scroll down to the current project that we're working in. We'll double click into here, and then we're gonna jump into the, the media folder. So here you can see I've got some video footage that's organized into these different folders, and essentially I can import these with some options across on the right-hand side. So we're gonna select the city folder as a starting point. You can see it's gonna leave the files in place. So essentially you can do one of two things here. You can copy the files to your library, which keeps everything self-contained within your library. But if you're looking to save space on your computer, then leaving those files in place is a good idea, especially if you're not disconnecting something like a camera, then you can do that. But copying to library is important if you're importing from a camera. We're gonna leave the files in place here. And there's some more advanced options, which we don't need to worry about. Now we can analyze the video, we can balance the color, and so on and so forth. And when we import this, it's gonna add it to an existing event. So it's gonna add it to that 19th of December, 2024 event that we have up at the top left, but we can also create a new event if we want to. So we could create an event called City Video, and that will help us to organize things within our libraries. We have some options here to transcode things, to create proxy media, and transcoding footage can help to speed up your editing. It's not necessary to do it, but working with proxy media or optimized media can definitely help to speed things up if you're working on a slower, older laptop or computer. And then we have some options here for fixing audio problems. Now we can do all these things later, so I'm just gonna hit Import Selected. So you can see here it's created a new event here for my city video, where I've got my clips now, organized into that folder. So creating a new event is a nice, neat way of keeping things organized as you import. So if we go to file and import again, we'll go to media, and this time we'll import the dancing footage that we have here. We'll create again a new event for this. We'll call this dancing footage, and we'll import selected. So really at this point, once we've got those two events set up within Final Cut Pro, we're ready to go ahead and edit. So one thing I like to do is if I click in this first event. I'm gonna call this timelines. And it's in this folder that I'm gonna store my timelines here. So I'm gonna to go to file, new, and create a new project, which is essentially a new project timeline. And we'll call this rough cut. We'll make this full HD and click okay. And so now you can see, as soon as I've done that, I can begin to edit the footage down to the timeline. So as a basic project setup, keeping your Video organized in different events can be useful, certainly if you're dealing with large quantities of video. But as soon as you've got your video imported, then you're ready to go ahead and edit. So the other option we have here as well, if we select a video here and do Command and K, we can add a keyword for that footage. So you can see it's already got the keyword city in here, but I might call add another keyword in here, so traffic, and that is gonna basically within my event here, it's gonna create keywords where I can filter different elements of this. So if I, for instance, select this other video where we're looking from the top, so we're seeing some more traffic here and here, I can highlight these two videos holding down command. I can type in traffic as well. And you can see now I've got my event, but then within there, I've got these videos that I've selected that really just kind of focus in on the cars moving and stuff. So we've got traffic footage there. And then in our dancing footage, we've got a dancing keyword already, but we might want to keyword certain things. So if we take this video, for instance, we could add a keyword that the main dancer is a boy dancing. So we'll take a couple of these, and then we'll come to another one. This one we have the girl as our lead dancing here. And you can see that as I add these keywords, 
I'm not losing that main event here, but I'm actually adding in some different levels of organization within my Final Cut Pro project. So the events and the keywords are super useful ways of organizing things. We can also as well, when we're organizing, view either all clips, we can reject clips as well. So if I go back to my city video and I select a video here, press delete, it doesn't actually delete it from the library, but it does reject it. So you can see here, I can hide rejected clips. It's gonna hide that clip that I deleted. So with hide rejected selected, if I select this video, for instance, and delete it, then it's hiding that particular video clip. So if I go to rejected now up here, and you can see it's organized those rejected clips together and I can organize and navigate through my clips, but in a non-destructive way. So I'm not actually deleting any footage from my Final Cut Pro project, which is a really important part of the process when you're editing your videos within Final Cut Pro is that you use the tools here so that you're working in a non-destructive way. So we'll go back to all clips. Where we'll see both those rejected videos. So these clips that are marked as rejected, I can remove that rejection marking. So if I go to mark, I can unrate those videos. U is the shortcut for that. And you can see that red has disappeared now. So if I just tap U, it's gonna remove that rejected option. You can see I've also got some other options for organizing things here too, where I can favorite videos. So F is the shortcut for that. So if I favorite a video here, I can press F. Or if I grab a range of video, I can favorite that too. So it's just favoriting part of that video. So if I kind of move through my videos, and see different parts of videos that I like within the clips that I selected, then by favoriting them, I can highlight all or part of those clips. If I come up to where it says all clips here now, I can just view those favorites. So it's gonna show me the part of the clip that is gonna be useful to me in my edit. So lots of different ways of organizing and managing your clips within Final Cut Pro. We can also view things as a list view. So we'll come away from favorites and just show all clips where you can see the name of the video, start, the end and also the media duration and then some other options across here on the right hand side. We can also jump back to our thumbnail view and then with this little button here we can zoom in and out of our video thumbnails so they're bigger or smaller and then here we can zoom in or out of the videos themselves so we can have just thumbnails or we can zoom in here so we see the film strip or kind of more detail about what's happening in those videos. We also have the option to, to group them um, by date, by file type, by roles, by camera angle, and then also to show the waveforms if we want to show the waveforms. There's no audio on some of these clips. But what's important here is that we have a lot of different ways in which we can organize and manage our work within Final Cut Pro. If we move across to here, we can also import music into Final Cut Pro from our music library. So that might be effects you've got installed or sound effects down here if you have them installed and then also photos from our photo library, which you can search and import into your Final Cut Pro library or directly onto your timeline. And then this last button across here on the left shows our titles and generators sidebar. So where we can add titles or generators that we can drag down from here onto our Final Cut Pro timeline. So that's a quick overview of how to set up a library, how to organize your clips into events, how to add keywords, and then also how to organize things using some of the, the filters and features within Final Cut Pro. If you do have any questions, then please do leave a comment below.